Hi, thanks for stopping by the Mitchell Junior High Virtual Art Show. Tonight you will see a sampling of art created by our students this semester. Of course, this is nothing like we imagined the end of our year to be. But, as usual, these students faced this problem head on and came up with a beautiful solution. Tonight you will see and hear from 8th grade advanced art students and 6th grade art students. First, the advanced art students will share with you some of their independent projects. These are projects they chose and created on their own at home. Several of them also chose to share with you other pieces that they created at home too. Hopefully, in the very near future, we'll be able to update our YouTube channel with video footage of their completed projects for the holiday drive-in. All year long, they worked with Steve and Pamela Wilson to conceptualize and create art that would attract business to the drive-in. On March 13th, as we left school, the students were making supply lists to shop for the materials to complete the chosen projects. Sadly, that's as far as we got. So much of what the first semester eighth grade art students worked on for their PBL projects to improve the aesthetic of our school was left undone. One of the things we emphasized as we worked together this semester was that you really aren't learning very much if you're not failing. These students worked together, took risks, made changes, and proudly presented their ideas to their principal and superintendent. My hope is that we, or others, will have a chance to see all of that come to fruition very soon. I could not be more proud of all of the effort and creativity displayed by those eighth grade art students this year. In our art classes, we always try to understand better the meaning and importance of art. Remember that I told each of you when we first met that I believe you were created to create. For some of you, that creative power shines through in your painting, drawing, sculpting, crafting. For others, it happens when you cook, bake, or garden. For many, it manifests lyrically through your music or your poetry. Still others of you work to create the perfect jump shot, curveball, backhand spring, or pirouette. Lots of you are really talented gamers or animators. Whatever it is you do, I encourage you to continue to make your mark on this world by what you create. During the last few weeks of e-learning, we also tried to understand the role of artists as creators of culture. When we look at the art of a certain time and place, what we learn about its people and their world. We explored what it means to capture the zeitgeist or spirit of this place at this time. I think that you will be impressed, as am I, by the way these students' artwork shows their creativity, their tenacity, and it captures a bit of their hearts, their perspectives, and their moods at this place and this time. Enjoy. I'm Chloe Akins, and the art piece that I've created for the 2020 art show is an elephant side of you crayon melt. This was messy, but a controlled piece of art that was created on a canvas by melting crayons and blending them together. I created my art by first sketching what I wanted the elephant's face to look like, and then I got to work. I gathered all my crayons and started them into categories. In this case, it were there were two categories. And it was the elephant's face, which I did purples and magentas and blues. And then the area around the elephant, which I did some teals and greens and yellows. I was inspired to create this art piece because my mom loves elephants. And I really wanted to create something that could double as a Mother's Day present and an art show piece. My goal for this project was only to finish proud of my work. I am normally a perfectionist who wants everything to be perfect, so making this that could express my personality and be controlled without creating something crazy was amazing. It was a really fun experience. I am so proud of what I've created, and I truly think that this was the best thing that I've ever created, but I also know that without Mrs. Souter's help and pointers and tips, I would not have been able to do it. So I am really appreciative and thank you. I hope you liked my piece. Hey guys, 
My name is Claire Beggerly and I am from Mrs. Souders Advanced Art Class. And we have an independent project that we were supposed to do and we could pick any media we wanted. I am comfortable with acrylics, so I decided to use something I'm familiar with. I decided to create a painting called it's A called Splash of Hope. Uh, it's kind of inspired by the time we're all in right now. Everything in this painting represents some sort of element. So, in the city, there's a power line and lots of little buildings. And so these buildings kind of represent like, they're kind of darker colors. So they kind of represent like worry and like just sad or like just kind of different emotions are kind of all throughout the city. And this power line kind of represents like a fence, like it's blocking off from the water in this little, little plant here. This plant is a resemblance and it represents the future and kind of having hope for the future. And as the more hope grows, the more things begin to grow. So the plant is just beginning to grow and there's a lot of magic around it. It's kind of what I tried to draw. Um, and the water represents the reflection and you can't really see the reflection of the city that much because the city is just, its actions are crazy and all over the place, <laughs> kind of like me, I'm crazy. And these clouds are just here, just for dimension. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I thought it would be fun if I showed you some more of my art. So thanks for watching and enjoy. Hi, my name is Bradley Dix with Advanced Art, and for my independent project, I wanted to create something that was meaningful but also had creativity. I've always wanted to create a type of melting crown art, but I knew I needed to step it up and add some creativity instead of going with the original and just having crowns melting down in canvas with no creativity to go along with it. I finally came across an idea with pictures and melting crowns around it. I chose this idea because it really stood out to me and I knew it would portray a meaningful message because my pictures would include friends and family. While completing this project, I did come across some difficulties such as gluing. It was hard to find a glue that would actually stay to the canvas, but I finally came across craft glue which seemed to work the best. I then gathered all my materials and after I placed the pictures in the desired area that I wanted them, I finally started gluing them down. I then broke the crowns in half and glued them down along the sides of the pictures going from the top to the bottom of the canvas. I then started gluing the crowns down in the places that I wanted. After I finally let everything dry, it was finally time for the last step. The last step involved melting the crowns. I started by using a hair dryer and placed the hair dryer at the tips of the crowns which let the color splatter a little more and gave it more creativity and a lot of more color. I then lit a candlestick and placed it at the point of the crowns. It let the color really flow together even more and I really enjoyed that part. Both the hair dryer and the candlesticks worked very well. I was so happy about the final outcome and the colors that combined it together. Overall, I give this project a 10 out of 10. I was very pleased with how the colors came together and I really enjoyed the making of it. I also really enjoyed the splatter of the crown wax onto my pictures because it really just gave a vibe that everything fit well together. One thing I learned from this project is that it's so easy to create something very meaningful to you, but also add some creativity. Here is the before and after pictures of melting the crowns. Also, while being out of school, I've created three other art pieces. The first one is called Meet the Artist. It is a cartoon character of myself that includes things I like, things I dislike, my name, my height, and my age. The second project I created this year was a More Than Words drawing. 
It was a creative drawing that included my thoughts and feelings reflecting on about what has been going on these and it all ties into a lyric of a song choice of my own. I decided to choose the song Memories and the lyric is, everybody hurts sometimes and everybody hurts someday, but everything will be all right. I decided to draw our flag that had puzzle pieces coming out of it, which reflected that even though sometimes things get hard, we'll all come back together as one and become even stronger. And lastly, I created a found object art. This was art created from materials from home or nature. I decided to create tic-tac-toe out of rocks because I thought it was a very creative idea with just using things that I found outside of my house. These are the three pictures of the projects I did. These four projects have made me become an even better artist and I can't thank Miss Souders enough for everything she's done. I can't Hi, for my independent art project, I chose to put a mirror on a plate and I call this project Beauty Outside the Mirror. I call it this and I chose to do this as a project because if you just focus on how you look and how you think others look at you, then you're going to miss the beauty of the outside world and how people actually look at you which is beautiful and colorful and bright. It has different colors and it has spirals, like just dots, hearts, suns, stars, and just stripes. This project was a e-learn assignment I just re I really liked it, so I wanted to show you. I did my likes, my dislikes, and restaurants. I chose to do restaurants there because in quarantine, I'm the thing I miss the most is going to restaurants with friends and families. So I just did a list of ten restaurants that I'm most looking forward to going to again. Thank you all for watching my presentation and I hope you like my work. Hi, my name is Tara Lee and I created a painting called Missing Summer. In the painting, I painted a flower and I chose to do a flower because I've been super interested in them this year. They don't have a lot of rules, so I get to have a lot of fun with it, like choosing the colors, changing the petals to the length and the width that I want because no flower is perfect. And also I've been drawing a lot of flowers this year. So painting them just gave me a new challenge that I haven't had before because we haven't got to paint a lot this year. And I named it Missing Summer because I'm missing summer a lot and a lot of my favorite things are in summer, like my birthday, hanging out with my friends in no school, and flowers. Flowers remind me a lot of summer because they're bright, they're colorful, and they're just like a happy thing. You give someone flowers and they're automatically happy. So in this time when I'm kind of sad that I'm not getting to see my friends, I did something that makes me happy. So painting a flower was just a lot of fun and it gave me an experience I haven't got to do yet. During this, I have learned a lot about life and art like not putting too many expectations on myself while creating this i got a little frustrated so it took me a second and i calmed down and this project became really enjoyable and after i started on it and stopped worrying about if i'm going to get it finished or not and just going ahead and doing it it was a lot of fun and i got to try new things like mixing colors and seeing how many coats I need to put on it because I didn't realize that not all the paint is super thick. 
So this is my painting and as you can tell there's the purple on the bottom of the flowers and blue on the top. I tried to blend them a little bit to give it a cool effect so it wasn't just a plain flower and the center is yellow. And I chose to do the background yellow because it, the dark colors on the flower and the light, this pops off more and it just makes it look a lot better. All right, may the force be with you. Anyways, hi Miss Sutters. Um, I'm going to be submitting both a video and Google Slides presentation because I feel like talking through the video to you will be able, I'll be able to get my emotions and my thought process across a little bit better than through the slides. So, I made this red heart because it's a national movement to just show all of the healthcare workers who are risking their lives and just their healthiness to stop the spread of COVID-19. And so I wanted to contribute to it the way I can, which is I think is through art and I think art is a very powerful way to get across messages. So I'll show you this, but I wanted it to use different mediums because one, I thought it would be very fun to just mess around with different mediums while I'm at home. And it was very fun. And two, because it just also kind of goes to show that there are many different types of people who are coming together to stop the spread of COVID-19. And I wanted to also kind of come across that no matter your race, religion, ethnicity, how much money you have that we're all trying to stop this and so i'll show you here i don't know how easy this will be but as you can see the pieces are kind of separated and i wanted to do that to show that yes we are all at home we are all separated but we are all still working together to stop this and i think that is very important to say is that yes we are separated and yes we may i may like i don't know everybody in the world but we are still all helping each other and we're going to be helping our future so it's healthier without this virus that is really hurting a lot of people's lives and stuff and I just thought that it was just kind of meaningful to me because my mom is a nurse practitioner and she is still working to help sick people who are just sick and who are could be carriers of the disease or who have the disease and so she is helping them. And I also just want to kind of dedicate this to her and all of the workers in the world, but especially the ones in our community. And yeah, so I hope that this made a little bit more sense to you. But thank you for listening. And I hope to see you again when I'm in high school. Bye. Days of darkness, which we've known, will blow away with this new sun. But I
as well as strong and use my head alongside my heart so tame my flesh and fix my eyes a tethered mind freed from the lies and I Hi, I'm Derek Stutz with the 8th grade advanced art class. Today I'm going to be showing you what I did for my independent project. So what I did was I made a group of images that were either a logo or what I call a digital painting. So some of these pictures, they either mean a lot to me or I just thought they would look cool as a painting or some other sort like that. So let's hop right into it and I'll show you what I did. Hey guys, so the first thing I wanted to show you is uh, this thing that I made right here uh, This picture this photo was taken at a motocross race that I attended to and uh, This picture means a lot to me. So I wanted to turn it into a piece for my art project So what I did Was I turned it into basically a painting? Uh, essentially a lot more goes into it than that, but I turned it into a painting uh, I added some light and I brought out uh, all the colors in me and my bike uh, just because this is my project so I kind of darkened everything around it a little bit I lightened up here and like I said I lightened right here and then so yeah that's what I did for this picture and let's move on to the next one so another one of my favorites was this one that I made um, it didn't take too terribly long, but I really liked the way it turned out. So 
what I did was I got a picture of uh, roses. This was not a painting at the start. I turned it into a painting and I highlighted it, obviously this rose right here and I darkened everything around it and took some saturation out of it. And I just think it looks really pretty. So that's that one. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one I made was uh, this banner, if you want to call it that. Uh, I just took the uh, picture that, the first picture that I showed you, I uh, manipulated it and I changed it and I added some other things to it. And then I added my main logo over all that. So that's that one. So this is another one that, uh, this is another picture that really means a lot to me. It was taken at a race, I believe, uh, a few months ago. So I just uh, used it. Uh, I blurred this part, obviously, and I had my logo in the middle. And that's pretty much all to that one. I didn't want to change it up too, too much. Another one of my favorites is this one. What I did was I took a picture of a dog off of the internet. Uh, I also made one of my own dog and I cut it out basically and I filtered it and manipulated it and changed the colors to the point where it is now. I thought it looked really cool and I thought it looked pretty professional. So I wanted to put it in my art project. This is also another one I made. I also made two more that you can see in the Google Slides. So one of the last ones I'm gonna show you today is this one. I made this a while back. This was one of the original uh, pictures with the logo in it. I really liked it. I thought it was really catchy. And then I also made this one, which has the same kind of uh, feel, but it is a banner instead. So I just added my logo. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I added some filters on it, added some other pictures on it that are in the background. Uh, I added a blue tint to it because that's usually what you want for pictures like this. So yeah, that was my independent project for 8th grade advanced art. I hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure to check out all the other slides for all the other art that I made. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Shaylin Thomas and this is my virtual art show. So today I'm going to be showing you a few smaller things that I did over the last month and then my independent project, which is a bit of a bigger assignment that took me a lot more time. So our very first assignment was the Meet the Artist assignment. And this was kind of going to be our, you know, inform informational poster about ourselves that we were going to have at our art show on our display. So it just has a little drawing of me that I did and then some information about me and my likes and my dislikes. And then our next project was the More Than Words assignment, which the goal of that was to create a drawing using um, how a song made you feel about the situation that we're in. So just kind of reflecting how this whole, you know, <laughs> situation that we're in right now where we can't see other people and that we are, you know, kind of confined to our homes. Um, and just kind of displaying how that made you feel. So I drew this and the song I chose was Lonely by Noah Cyrus. And my, the, myth, the message I kind of wanted to convey with this was that it's kind of like a tree being sheltered from the rest of the world, kind of like how we are being sheltered from the rest of the world right now. And then my last smaller thing is something that, it wasn't an assignment that was given to us, but I just wanted to put it in here because I really like it. And I did it over the kind of time in between the start of this and then this art show. So this is a drawing of Stitch, which I'm sure that we all know who that is. But I drew this for my friend because she really likes Stitch, and I'm going to give it to her whenever this is over and we can actually see each other again. So, I could just drop it off at her door, but I think that seeing her reaction would be a lot more exciting. So, I just really liked how that turned out, so I decided to put that in there. And then that moves on to our independent project that we had, and for mine, I titled it Fade to Black, which is named after his shoe line, and I decided to draw a portrait of Kobe Bryant um, and I've never really been a sports fan <laughs> so it just kind of I drew it to show the impact that he had and I actually had started this like the day after his death but there was a time where I like just didn't work on it a lot because it's a very tedious task because it's so big and so I 
use this as kind of my motivation to push and finish it, which I did. So, this is the drawing. And I did this using sketch pencils, which is not a medium I normally use, so this was also a little bit out of my comfort zone. I have used them before, but not super often. So I just did this because I think it really shows um, how even someone who's never been a sports fan was impacted by him and how important he is and was to a lot of people. And I just, I really, really like it. I like that it conveys a special meaning because that's kind of my purpose with the art that I draw is kind of to convey some sort of emotion or meaning or feeling. And I just really like how it turned out and I think that I learned a lot from drawing it. So that was my art show. I wish you could have had one in person, but I'm glad that we got the opportunity to share some of our stuff with you. So thank you for watching. Hi, my name's Andrew Williams, and I'm going to be showing you what I did for my 8th grade independent project, along with some other things that I've worked on this 8th grade year. This is what I did for my independent project. It says, the darkest days bring out the brightest colors, the brightest colors bring out the best in you. This is so people don't think that just because we're in a hard time, they have to put others down to make themselves feel better. Since we only have social media to connect with each other and our phones, it can be very hard because that is how a lot of negativity is spread. This is to help spread a positive message and help people spread more positive messages to other people that really need them. As you can notice that the colors are put into diff different shapes and some of them have rough ed edges right there. That is supposed to represent how people are dealing with this tough time. There are some that are dealing with it very rough and very fine. I also used the white lines as a little bit as the boundary keeping us away from each other. I really hope that my message was spread through this. This is one of the extra pieces that I have done over the time of my eighth grade year. Along with this one and this one. I hope you enjoyed my portion of the eighth grade art show. Thank you for watching. May you have auspiciousness and causes of success. May you have the confidence to always do your best. May you take no effort in your being generous. Sharing what you can, nothing more, nothing less. May you know the meaning of the word happiness. May you always lead from the beating in your chest. May you be treated like an esteemed guest. May you get to rest, may you catch your breath. May the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. Whoa. Oh, may the road less paved be the road that you follow. Oh, well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. I want you to have it. Even I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to the Mitchell Junior High Advanced Art Class with Mrs. Souders. We really enjoyed this year being a part of your project based learning. We look forward to completing this project, even though we can't complete it right now and we're all a little disappointed. We don't look to that. We don't look for COVID-19 to stop us. We want to finish this project with you. It was really hard to even decide which project because you all done such a great job. Health and less stress, having no possessions, no immeasurable wealth. May you get a gold star on your next test. May your educated guesses always be correct. And may you win prizes shining like diamonds. May you really own it each moment to the next. Or may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. Whoa. Or may the road less paved be the road that you follow. Can imagine
and oh, no matter what your path is, if you believe it, then anything can happen. Go, 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 raise your glasses. Go, 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 you can have it. Oh, I told you, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life
So I'm gonna show you the one from a few years back first and then we'll do the other one. So this was from a few years back. Me and my mom um, painted a couple dolphins. And dolphins are my favorite animal. So. And then I just wanna put this in the art show just to show like how much I've improved on art um, by thinking about the notes that we took. So, yeah. This is like the sunset. That's the reflection of the sun. That's the sand and that's the water. And obviously here are some palm trees. I drew that to sort of be like a horizon line, but that didn't really turn out well. But yeah. So this is art that I have done over quarantine. And this one. <laughs> and this is my sister's art that inspires me to do better in art. And this one.
Wyatt Howlett, and this is my final art project for 6th grade art. Try.